All right, so some friends of mine had me digging through my craft supplies, and I discovered this lovely box of Pasenki that were not, excuse the camera, up there in my basket that is full of big turkey egg pasenki, but here are the chicken egg pasenki. This is one of my favorites. Very detailed star pattern with just three simple colors, but when it does not have the end cap that I usually put on them. You just glue on an end cap that lets you hang them and it covers up the hole because these are blown empty eggshells. And here, for example, are a bunch of empty eggs just waiting. They're all empty. I think one of, yes, a couple of them are damaged just from being in the closet for a couple years, but they hold up really well. And I discovered this because uh, generally Ukrainian Easter eggs are boiled and not blown because of their climate. They can get away with just letting the insides dry over time. But I live in Missouri and that was a terrible idea. I lost many, many eggs to rotting and explosions. There's one with an end cap. See, that's it's got a little loop, and it hides the hole. And if they're just sitting somewhere, you don't really notice the bottom hole. But uh, these are really easy to make. They're just the wax over the egg in the design you want, and then you dip it in the dye. And I'd like to get back into these, but unfortunately, uh, I only have two dies at the moment. And that was from the last time that we made Pasanki as a group function. And I cut out my eggs and these this is the, the actual wax that you use. You just put a little tea light under these like so. There it is. A little tea light. And you wait for the, the wax to heat up and that's how and yeah, tap, tap, tap it on the eggs with a kitska. And I, those are in that box over there. So, yeah, I'm just playing around with my pasanki, and there you go. I found, don't know if I'm going to get back into this or not, but hey, could happen. Might be, might be something people are interested in.